Hey guys, Mike back, uh, Canadian Cards, continuing uh, Legends series. Today we are going to key on the big M, Mr. Frank Mahovlich, here showing in his 72 OPG and a PSA 6. Um, Mr. Mahovlich had a pretty storied career and very interesting one at that. Um, played his junior hockey um, pardon me, with Toronto St. Mike's Majors, and then played 11 years uh, with the Toronto Maple Leafs, four years with Detroit, four years with uh, Montreal, and then spent four seasons in the WHA. Um, played in 1,181 games, scoring 533 goals, 570 assists, and... Um, what about some of his accolades? I think he, he participated in 15 um, All-Star Games, won the Calder Trophy as the Rookie of the Year in 1958. He was an NHL first-team All-Star three years, and he was a second-team uh, second All-Star six different times. Uh, won six Stanley Cups, 63, 62, 63, 64, 67 all with uh all with uh toronto and 71 and 73 with montreal he's inducted into the hockey hall of fame in 1981 um in january 2017 he was part of the first group of players to be named in the 100 greatest nhl players in history um, I had the privilege of actually meeting him. Uh, I was, I was doing a presentation years ago in Pittsburgh for work and I was eyeballing this guy and I'm going, I know him. That's Frank Mahovlich. And I was with a buddy and he's like, no, it's not. No, it's not. And I said, I, I guarantee you that's Frank Mahovlich. So when we were exiting the plane at Pittsburgh airport, I stopped him and asked him, I said, are you Frank Mahovlich? He's like, why, well, yes, I am. And uh, I said, do you mind if I get a picture with you? Big fan. So um, pictures around here somewhere. But uh, my coworker, who didn't believe me at the time, took the picture. Um, Frank had a very uh, tumultuous relationship with uh, Punch Imlac, the coach and GM of the Maple Leafs. Imlac was very, very hard on him, uh, so much so that he would actually try and get more out of him by going to the press and criticizing his play. Then the Toronto fans started getting on him because of these reports that Imlac was saying he was being lazy, wasn't given 100%. Anytime he touched the puck, he'd get booed. Um, actually... Um, weighed heavily on him and he had some mental health issues with the Leafs um ended up they called it chronic fatigue but um he was actually suffering from uh acute depression and basically spent some time in the hospital just trying to get himself in a better state of mind and all at the hands of Punch Imlac because he um you know, just pushed him too hard. And, um, but had a huge career. Um, played in the Summit Series in 1972 versus uh, the Russians. And um, I'm just looking on his Wikipedia page. I'm trying to see where it is because I'm pretty sure. And comment down below. I think he, yes, in 1998, he was appointed, appointed, to the Senate of Canada by Prime Minister Jean Chrétien and retired uh, five years later in 2013. So he's a Canadian senator in uh, in our government system up here. So just, um, you know, older brother of Pete Mahovlich, um, who I will possibly do a legend about, but he wasn't really... He wasn't really um, 
a legend. I mean, he was a legend for me because he played for um, Montreal. So he's part of the years that I watched. But um, there you have it. The legend of Mr. Frank Mahovlich, the big M. Hope you guys are well. Take care.